Hi Stampin' Friends, this is Robin with Stamp with Dr. Robin. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in what's usually sunny San Diego, but today we are having rain, which we desperately need, and that's what inspired the card that we're making today. So we'll get to that in just a minute, but I'm glad you're all here with me. And just want to talk about a little Stampin' Up! news for the day. Um, and just wanted to remind you all about the annual catalog because we only have about another six weeks or so of the annual catalog. Um, we will know on the 24th of this month what is retiring and what's carrying over. But um, I always want to remind people that once that goes out, it's wall supplies last. And that includes all of the lovely in colors that we have come to know and love from the 2019 to 21. So that's the other thing that inspired this card today is looking at these colors and going, oh my gosh, I only have another six weeks and then they go bye bye. Um, so let's get started. Gonna turn you down. Hi Janelle, thanks for coming. And here we go. Hopefully we can see everything. But like I said, what really inspired me was these lovely in colors that are going bye-bye. And these colors, I don't know, they change which one's my favorite, but um, since there's a lot of Rococo Rose in, in some of the, the papers this time, I've been using a lot of that lately. Also remember that when these in colors go bye bye, all the ribbons, all the embellishments, etc., all the papers that match them for sure go bye bye. So we got our Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile, another one that I just made a few cards with, which I really enjoyed. Um, Purple Posy, don't know what the big deal was, but we we never got the um, the ink to work properly but still it's a, a lovely color and um, also seaside spray that's what we're going to be using today actually this is you know my favorite light blue I actually like that a lot better than our than our balmy blue um, and what has to be my favorite which is pretty peacock I'm really gonna miss pretty peacock it's just such a lovely teal ish color so if any of those are your favorites, get the cardstock, get the ink, check if you have the ink refills if it's become a favorite of yours, because they're gonna be they're gonna be gone. Um, and really, those are the things that sell out first are the cardstocks and the inks of the in colors. So here's our card today. Like I said, it was inspired by a few things. One, a rainy day, which we don't get a lot of in San Diego, but I'm enjoying just listening to the rain. And Seaside Spray, which is going to be no more. And using something from the annual catalog that who knows what's carrying over or not. But I thought, oh wow, I haven't even really used this. I think I made one card and sent it to my daughter because um, I just love some of the sayings on here too. I think I sent her something that said, hello sunshine. Anyway, so let's get started. Now this... Um, set comes with a punch, what they call a builder punch, and that means it has several different elements in it and you build umbrellas. And so I just wanted to show you a couple little things about using a builder punch um, that I thought would be, would be helpful. So first um, thing is if you want to get stuff stamped in here, you could, I mean, cut out in here, punched. You could individually do it. Um, and I did that just to get the handle. Um, but you also can make yourself something th so that you can actually use them together. So what I did is I just took a piece of white cardstock, stuck it in here, and punched it out. And now I have kind of like little outline samplers so I know if I want to use several of these things, I can get them on my block correctly. Let's take them off so that we can see that. Okay, so I know that when I go and I punch it, 
I'm going to be doing this upside down because I'm going to stamp it first and whatever I'm going to punch I'm going to slide in and punch so I really need it to show up like that okay so this is the reason that I cut this out now I can lay down with the part I'm going to stamp with fit it into here so it's upside down and then put it on my block okay and now it's perfect for when I go like this and stick it in you can see that it's going to line up perfectly and when I do this I just um, will take this and I will save this and I will stick this in my in my stamp case and I will use that many 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 more times okay so for right now we're going to stamp and then cut out paper and this paper is the um, flowers for every season DSP another thing from the annual catalog and if you don't have this DSP um, you need to, you need it um, I'm as many of you know DSP is my thing I love all of it but this stuff is gorgeous and it's called flowers for every season for a reason we've got some Christmas flowers we've got spring flowers we've got some fall flowers and then the back is just perfectly coordinated we're going to use this one from the back to go with these or to be used separately I use some of these on on another card recently um, and instead of using say for instance solid um, cinnamon cider on a card you could cut this out and have that be your be your piece hey hi Mary Claire my sister-in-law's watching um, okay so we got our memento ink and this is the stamp set that we just made up and because I'm gonna be you know using some of the blues I kind of strategically looked for for places that I could get some now remember we're gonna put it in the I always do this with my punch right here because that's how we're gonna stick it in so we want to make sure that we get there we go it whoops and ugh, Robin we did not use like we should have so slide it underneath here so we get because this is a photo polymer polymer we want to get our piercing mat under there beautiful huh okay so now we've got because this is should be perfectly lined up it should perfectly line up in here too so I'm looking at the tops of these I'm looking at the sides looks like I could have done a slightly better job lining up but this is gonna work okay so we got all our pieces now I'm not I'm gonna toss this one because I'm not gonna use it but then we also need our little shoes so let's stamp our shoes and I do want to get some little bit of blue in there too for our little galoshes or rain boots or whatever you call them where you're from and these unfortunately I'm not sure why they didn't stick this in the punch but we're gonna have to fussy cut these out so they're actually pretty darn easy to cut out because it's just some shoes and sometimes when I cut I will leave a margin around here but I actually thought that would look kind of weird so I'm cutting away everything down to the line I'm not sure what this little point is at the end but it's going bye bye too all right so that's ready and as long as we've got stamping stuff out let's go ahead and stamp our little rain I think this is so cute I can see this being used on other 
lots of other cards too. So I got my Seaside Spray card stock and my Seaside Spray ink. And we're gonna we're gonna make it rain. So I did notice too that the way they have these cut out, see how they kind of perfectly fit one into another? I don't know. There's some smart people who work at, at Stampin' Up. You know, just when you think, oh, they probably don't even, you know, work on that, then you notice, yeah, it does kind of, kind of all works together. Now, I decided I wasn't going to make it rain the whole thing. I thought about saying, well, maybe, you know, if you're under an umbrella, it's not raining under the umbrella. So I tried it like that. Didn't really like that either. So this works a little better if you start in the middle and go towards the outside, too. Okay, I'd say we got enough rain going on here. So let's put this away before I get my arm in it. And we just have one more little bit of stamping to do, and that would be for the words. So let's just get all our stamping done together. And then this says, no matter the weather, weather we're friends forever. The You'll notice the little saying here and the little background. Remember I told you this was the background, the backside of one of those pieces of DSP. We're going to use that. And this uh, little pretty banner was cut from the succulents stamp set. I mean, excuse me, dies right here. And this one is made to have this little one go inside of it, but it didn't quite fit. It wasn't going to fit that. So I realized that I could still get a bigger piece of paper in there. So that's what we're going to use. And we're going to use our um, lovely labels pick a punch. Whoops, that's not it. Our lovely labels pick a punch. That's the one that you can do half inch, three quarters, or one inch and put it all in there. I like to do it from the back side. You know, start to, to start to line it up correctly like that and then turn it over because I find that I get a better punch if I line it up depending on the size. And so I like to punch one side of it before I do my stamping and then the other side afterwards. So line it up on one of the lines in here so you can try to get it straight, my nemesis. Now I'll let you in on another little secret with this punch. If you want to be really perfect about getting kind of similar spacing, you save that little piece that you cut off, you put it over here, you decide your spacing, then you make a little, I just do a little mark like that. Can you see that? <clears throat> with a pencil and then cut it off there. And when you put it back in the punch, it should give you the same distance, both sides. Just be really careful, push it all the way up to the edge, line it up so it's straight, and voila, perfect. Right? And it, you can see that your two little end pieces are about the same size. That's how it lined up so well. Okay, so I think we're done with our stamping. And I also decided that this needed a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of dimension to it. So instead of just leaving this plain, I decided to take my subtle embossing folder. That's the one that makes kind of the little fine lines. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on here and run it through. This is one of 
our big 3D embossing folders. Still using my old Big Shot. And I also noticed, so with the 3D ones, you just need the one plate on top. I also noticed with my Big Shot on this one, I needed a few little extra pieces of paper to get a good emboss on this one. I like I like to be able to see the embossing, and I'm gonna run it actually up and back. Because I really want to be able to see those little lines because they kind of also reminded me of rain. There you go. You see them? Okay, so let's put our card together. I think we have everything we need unless I lost a little piece or two along the way. So we've got some Magenta Madness cardstock. And that is eight and a half by five and a half. It's scored at four and a quarter. We're just gonna fold it in half. Use our bone folder to push it down. Next behind here is a piece of um, the seaside spray with a little piece of black. The seaside spray is five and an eighth by three and seven eighth. The black is five and a quarter by four. So you can see it's just got the tiniest bit of margin around it. I felt like it just really made the black that we did with our stamping pop a little bit. All right, see we just got the tiniest little margin on here. The glue's letting me just play with it a little bit. And now we're gonna glue it down onto our card base. See how that black is already making it making it pop a little bit. We've got a lot of people on today. Hi Kathy. Hi Lean. Hi Jill. Alright. So Let's glue this onto our base. I just think it's so pretty how these these all go together. You know, finding the little surprises on the back. Some of my funnest discoveries is finding the surprises on the back or finding like this, that this pick-a-punch works perfectly with the edge of this succulent eye. And we're going to glue our little shoes on the edge here. Just the edge, because it's going to hang over a little bit. And now we'll get some dimensionals on the back of that one and the back of that one. Because who can make a card without dimensionals? I think that's about one of the first things I tell everybody they have to buy is a package or two of dimensionals. All right, now we've got some Magenta Madness ribbon. I actually want to put this down first, then we'll see where we want to do our umbrella. All right, so I want it to go kind of across like that. And I'm just going to use some um, stamp and seal to put it down. Now, how am I going to figure out how it's going to go like this? Is I'm just going to kind of pull that out. And then I'm going to, because I only really need this under the part that you're not going to see, because this is a little bit thicker. So the stamp and seal plus is really good for things like ribbons or stuff that's a little stronger that you need it for and the regular stamp and seal some people like to use it on all their cards I like the glue I like the little bit of forgiveness it gives you okay so now we've got our umbrella and I actually cut some umbrella handles out of the In Good Taste DSP, that's kind of our little wood wood one, and just use little scraps that I had. So 
so I kind of like that maybe up a little bit that looks good so let's get our maybe we'll put that here so we know where we're going here just a little dab of glue on here and a little dab of glue on my fingers And then we'll put our little dimensionals down. And through the wonder of stamping up how everything just matches perfectly, we have a beautifully color coordinated card. Now what are we gonna do on the inside? Because we can't have naked insides. Well, remember this extra little piece of parasol that we have? That's going on the inside. I like to use um, five by three and three quarter pieces on the inside. I used to use the slightly bigger ones and then I realized on most of my cards I don't have that much to write. I think, I don't know, I didn't think this cut out all so well so I'm going to go back and just trim a little more off. Of course, nobody but you is going to notice that. But So now we have a little parasol to put on the inside. Anything more than a teeny bit is going to be coming out. And this one I'm gluing down instead of using dimensional since it is on the inside. And it's just supposed to be an extra little decoration. And maybe we can take our rain that still has just a little bit on here. Because I didn't wash it off or anything. And give an extra little light color of rain here. You notice I, I didn't even put it in the ink again, but it had enough left on there that it was just fine. So that's our card. And you could stamp, I didn't grab an envelope, but you could put some rain. You could even glue some of this. I might even, you know, take some of the extra DSP and put it on the back of the envelope. But we have our pretty cards. Oh, forgot, we have some little dots because what's a card without some bling, right? You could also do something like put a little Wink of Stella on here and make it a little um, shinier. But we're going to go like this and just put a couple of, come on, tool here. These are the in color dots. I didn't use this initially because sometimes I have trouble getting these to come off. So they stick really well and sometimes the little um, glue adhesive on the back that the, that the colored dot comes off sometimes. Oh great. Now they're sticking really well. So sometimes I'll get them like that and then get them on here. But chances are these are going away too. So if these have been a favorite of yours because they match, they usually come out with something else new next next time around. So this would be another thing from the um, the uh, annual catalog that you might want to think about getting some more of. So that's our cards. A um, couple other things I wanted to mention was this um, build an umbrella punch. I don't know if you guys notice this, but there's a second stamp set that matches with it. It's called Pretty Parasols, and it's on page 44 of the annual catalog, and this matches with this punch. Same idea, only more foo-foo-y things. Look at these little stamped edges and such that you can put onto your parasol, or I guess under underneath, hanging off, however you want to want to do it. But um, that's a really cute second set that matches. I love it when they give us more than one set. And then the only, only thing that I wanted to mention is our upcoming Zoom bingo. And everybody watching, doesn't matter where you live, can participate. 
So my upline, Peggy Noe, and I have done this several times together, and it's always a lot of fun. We get together, we chat, we will send you everything you need to make four cards, um, and including the stamp set, and we're going to be using the um, Simply Succulent stamp set for this. Um, and it's $45, $8 more if we need to send it to you. There's usually some surprise extras in there. And we will play four games of bingo and we'll have some great prizes. Usually we have at least one bundle. Uh, we won't have anything new. We Most of the time we've been doing this after each catalog comes out. So it'll be, you know, something from the the catalogs that we have now but hopefully you guys can join me if you have any questions you can send me an email at robindaws at gmail.com or stampwithdrrobin at gmail.com um, take a picture of this if you want to call me because my number is on there too so hope to see some of you there soon I'm going to turn you back up to say goodbye but I will whoops get my finger in the way see you whoops, whoops, whoops. We are leaning forward. See you next week at 1 o'clock uh, Pacific time. Same, same station, same bat time. And uh, take care. Have a good week. Bye-bye.